So this is the first of the Slater's dedicated anti-air arsenal. This is a 20 millimeter Orlikon auto cannon. Uh, she's a Swiss-designed anti-aircraft gun. It's a short-range anti-aircraft gun. It only really serves as a point defense weapon for the ship. Uh, it can only protect this ship from aircraft attack as its low range prevents it from pr uh, projecting its firepower over top of other ships. It has a maximum range of around one mile. Now, one mile sounds like a decent distance, but when your target is a Mitsubishi aircraft that can move at 350 miles per hour, you're gonna wish that mile was a bit farther away. Uh, but once that aircraft gets within a mile, uh, they're going to have to hope for the best. The gun fires up to 600 of these 20 millimeter cartridges per minute. And there are two guns strapped together because this is a dual mount weapon here, meaning the mount itself has an effective fire rate of 1200 rounds per minute. But you will never achieve that rate of fire as those are 60 round drum magazines on top. If you were to hold down the trigger, they would be empty in six seconds. So you're spending more time reloading than you are actually firing the weapon. And the Navy knows this. They know all the, the downsides of this weapon. Uh, so their solution, uh, just put a lot of them on the ships. There are nine of these dual mount Orlicons on board the ship, making for a total of 18 20 millimeter guns. A fairly large amount for a ship this small. Uh, but the gun would require a crew of four sailors to operate. That's two loaders, one on each side, uh, a gun captain to supervise, and the gunner himself who operates this weapon by strapping himself in and then using his body weight to elevate the gun upwards like this. And using the pegs down beneath him in order to, to uh, for footholds in order to maneuver the gun around and aim at approaching aircraft. 